Good evening. I come from a different world, unfortunately, for you, because I might scare you. You know, I'm an investigator, and uh, I work for the International War Crimes Tribunal in The Hague, investigative war crimes committed in the territory of Croatia by Serbs and Croats. And uh, to introduce you to the war, I will play a short video, if you can play it for me, please. war in former Yugoslavia. In 1991, Croats defended the city of Vukovar for about two months against the army of Yugoslavia and the Serbian territorial defense. This is what they did with the city in two months. Eventually, on 18th of November 1991, the army overtook the city and Croats had to, had to surrender. In Zagreb, the government negotiated with the Yugoslav army and the International Red Cross that they will evacuate the civilians from the city of Vukovar. And the evacuation was supposed to take place on the 19th, but they didn't. They moved it for one day to the 20th in the morning. What happened there? The convoys come in with the Red Cross and they got to the checkpoint in Vukovar and the army stopped them and they said they couldn't go any further. Meanwhile, they took about 300 people from the hospital, put them on the buses, and took them to a pig farm, where they put them in a warehouse and beat them. Several people were killed. At the same time, sorry. At the same time, the media in Belgrade ran the news that the crowd before the surrender, they killed 41 Serbian children. They attack the basic instinct of everybody, killing children. What impact it had on the prisoners at the Ovchara. The Yugoslav army moved out of the place and left the prisoners with the paramilitaries. They dug the hole and 20 by 20 they were killing those civilians put them in a mass grave and left the scene. We found the people responsible for this. There were three military officers, then the paramilitaries who actually were the shooters, and then Slavko Dokmanovic, who was the mayor of Vukovar, who participated in the beating at the Ovchara. What we had to do, we had to try to arrest those people responsible for that. Slavko Rokmanovic was indicted under seal, so he didn't know that he was indicted. And we made a plan to trick him to come from Serbia, where he was hiding, to Vukovar, which was controlled at the time by the United Nations. And the pretext of that was that he would be able to sell the house. And General Klein, who was the administrator, agreed that he will, his name will be used for the trickery. We managed to get Slavko Rokmanovic on the territory of Croatia, and we managed to arrest him. He was the first indicted war criminal since the World War II that international community was able to arrest. What was the importance of it? The importance was that we had about 70 indictees at the time, in 1996, but nobody was in the prison because nobody dared to arrest. The NATO was saying they didn't have a mandate for it, and the, and the countries in the former Yugoslavia, they were basically, they didn't want to do it, because for them, it will make a precedence. So somebody had to do it, and we made a precedence. So we arrested the criminal. It shows the world that it can be done without killing anybody. 10 days later, NATO took action under NATO, 
the British special forces moved to Priedor, where there was a three indicted war criminals for the crimes in the region. They arrested one, they shot one dead because he put up with them, and the third one ran away. But the important thing was that as a result of this, 161 indicted war criminals were arrested and prosecuted or processed by the International War Crimes Tribunal in The Hague. There, are, there were no indictees left. If you want to know more about the investigation of the war crimes, I would recommend that you buy my book, which is called Investigator, Demons of the Balkan War and Justice, which is available in Czech, Rep Czech Republic in Czech, but you can do it also on the internet by the Grada Publishing. But the book is going to be also published here in the United States by the Potomac Books in September next year. And I hope that I'll be able to present the book to you here on the 12th of September, 2019. So I would like to invite you here and then we can talk more about the war crimes and investigations. Thank you very much for your attention.